a young person made a post on social media that bordered on being defamatory, probably libelous. The person was trapped and their identity discovered. Long and short, the person was put up to doing this by another political organization. And we have been tracking several such cases where you see some posts being made that border on defamatory or libelous. And when you dig behind, which we have the capabilities to do, and to discover the people behind these accounts, there are young persons being recruited to do this. It is purely out of good conscience that many of them we don't pursue because they are young people, they are being misled, they are being used for the wrong purpose. They are being used to, because they are native to social media, they are being used to manipulate social media, to comment on posts negatively, to spread rumors about people, to do some really nasty things. I'm not going to say too much about our capabilities to track it. And we have been tracking. And you're going to see some actions very shortly for those persons who are using social media. Much of what is being done is, in fact, against the law. I want to say to you, the people who have chosen to be a part of the Jamaica Labour Party, the Jamaica Labour Party does not use or endorse the use of social media to attack people's character, to assassinate people's character, to spread misinformation. We have too many Good news items, too many achievements that you need to promote without having to resort to attacking people. No, we deal with policies and programs and principles. People who don't have policies, who don't have programs and don't have principles, they try to attack people. People who don't have good news try to spread bad news. And where there is no bad news to spread, they create falsehoods. There was a time when we would have been silent about this and allow it to go on. But the world in which we live in, the world has never had the capability as it does now, to create and generate misinformation at a scale and speed that it influences people who are normally rational and reasonable people. It is now at a point where even degreed people, people who have gone to school, studied in the highest institutions of the land, they are not able to discern the nonsense that comes to their phone. They're calling me and asking me if it's true. It's amazing. They don't know that there is an entire industry called fake news. An industry set up just to do that. They call it entertainment. And if you fall for it, then say, but it's not my fault. You know, should I know better? But a lot of people don't know better. A lot of people stay home and they're on their phones or they're watching on their computers. Utter nonsense and rubbish. But they're not able to discern 
that it is not so. Because as long as they see it on TV or it appears to them on their screen, they take it as fact. But that's not the world in which we live in. Unmoderated information is being presented. Now, there are societies that we look on them and say, these societies are the beacons of freedom. And in those societies, they have recognized the dangers of allowing this kind of unregulated free flow of misinformation to reign in countries like Canada, for example. Even in the United States, they have taken steps through their Senate, through their Congress, through their Parliament, to call in the social media companies and say, listen, we see where your social media platforms have tried to influence our elections. You have to moderate because they realize it is creating a problem. It is an accelerant for conspiracies. It is being used to mislead and misinform. So I'm saying to you, the young people here today, Yes, it's the new platform for information. But you must use it wisely. You must use it with discernment. Not everything that is posted is true. Check, question, and if it is not so, dismiss it. This is not an attempt to in any way dull your voice. But it is now time that you use your voice for the defense of truth. That you must make your voice heard for the defense of truth. And when people put nonsense on social media, you must tell them it's nonsense, not number so. Because your only intent is to try to trick people to get power. That's it. That is all it is about. Trying to trick people to get power. So we have said to our youth organizations, mobilize. The same way they are using social media and their telephones for evil, led by evil people, we must use that platform and those devices for good. We must publish all the good that we have done. We must promote the good things we have done. We must promote our values, our principles, our programs, and our achievements. So, you are our ambassadors. You are our ambassadors for growth and innovation. And you are our ambassadors for the promotion of the good works of the party that you support.